Hey Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. So let's get into your reading here the next two weeks. See what messages you need to know. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, you're starting with a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, see what the energies are here. Okay, past position, you have Wheel of Fortune. So something major, profound, very significant happened in the past in regards to a love relationship. Something was definitely turning in your favor back then. Things you felt, maybe you felt very lucky or another person felt very lucky. But now hmm what's going on here there's like this uh oh what happened what happened to this what happened to what's going on was that for real i'm hearing it's kind of like looking back at the past and being like what in the heck let's take a look okay the challenge is the empress there's a strong feeling here aquarius um a feeling of neediness or codependency and it's very very difficult um, to deal with at this time all right let's see why what happened here okay there you go five of swords so something was moving forward and then there was some kind of a cutoff um, or maybe somebody turned out to not be what you thought or they presented themselves a particular way but then there was some kind of cutoff that happened um five of swords is tough because it can be a card of some type of an abusive situation um or having someone just be very mean or um not caring not loving um a lot of uncertainty so i feel like your energy here you're looking back on that like what the heck happened and feeling like with that empress in the reverse like very dependent on getting maybe some answers okay um and it's a, it sits in the the position of the benefit for you to also seek some truth in regards to um something that seemed to be so amazing or so great with another person um maybe this person might have turned out to be presented themselves as such a catch you know uh, a risk was taken you said yes to a relationship or to dating someone uh, and I feel like maybe they turned out to be a bit of a heartbreaker or uh, just somebody who was just not a healthy relationship okay uh, could have been a marriage or could be a friendship whatever it is but right now I see you putting up boundaries and being very persistent to protect yourself as you seek some kind of truth and that's what's driving you is judgment um yeah it just feels like you want to know what happened you want to know what is going on with some kind of a relationship you're seeking clarity and you're definitely making some so you can make a final decision about a particular person let's see what's crowning all right yeah trust in your intuition you know you know you know you know you know what it is you might be gaslighting yourself or telling yourself that there's no way that this a particular person was not who they were but maybe you're starting to see now that who they presented themselves to be was not really who they are or who they were all right let's see the near future energy here okay so the king of swords okay so there is an, another air sign showing up here. And that's why I feel like there's a love call. I feel like this king of swords, masculine or feminine energy, is going to be reaching out to talk to you. And what do they want to talk to Aquarius about? Oh, justice. Hmm. About some truth. Hmm. I do feel like someone here is thinking of you and let this person is thinking of you. And they are going to reach out, call you and tell you this. But they're coming in with, to be honest, to be 
to seek some kind of a win-win situation here to bring some truth to you. Let's see the position of your advice. Wow, you have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Your advice here is to take a look at how you invested in a particular relationship and how you got nothing in return for it. Okay, that your advice is to keep that at the forefront of your mind, even if this person is coming in with a love call and they say they miss you and they're giving, trying to, you know, bring some truth to the situation. It, you know, it, it telling you that they miss you or expressing love to you, it doesn't negate the fact that you worked really hard on your end in this relationship with someone in your past. You worked very, you did, you worked very, very hard. And you really invested and put all your energy in. You're very, down to your last dime. Whatever you had left, you put all your energy in. And you just really didn't get anything in return. You got a cut off. You got somebody who wasn't nice. Or they were cruel. Yeah. It made you feel like they were the luckiest thing that you could ever have. And then they turned out maybe to not be that way. Or maybe their true colors came in. So, hmm. Let's take a look at them. Take a look at them. Okay, they have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. So their energy is showing up here in um, Earth energy. They're showing up as greedy. And financially dependent. I feel like they, they might be coming in to try to get some money. Or do something with taxes or some legal stuff. Like that's their intention behind this love call. Right? It's not very good. I, I'm not going to lie. It's not It's not the greatest message here. Um, uh, your advice here is to not invest and to not give any, not give them any money or to not help them with something. Not help them with something. I, I, yeah, they have the magician. And this is, this is somebody who's... They're very focused on, uh, I, I'm just hearing like, I, they're saying pull the wool over your eyes, okay? So love call, yeah, sounds great and everything, but I feel like their intentions are, th they're having a financial problem. You know, this could be a love relationship, like I always say. It, it could be any relationship in your life, a friend, a family member, a lover, a romantic partner, you know, a, a whomever whatever family like it could be anybody a sibling but you know love doesn't always necessarily mean romantic but i feel like you are going to get the call from this person in the next couple weeks and i do feel like there's going to be something to do with like money taxes like it's going to come out later and i might try to hit you up with some money or something to do along those lines it's just yeah yeah look two of cups so it's in the reverse. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, I feel like for you, Aquarius, the truth is going to come out. You are going to find out, you know, that's what you're seeking here is like what this person, like what they really were doing, what they really wanted, what, like what happened. Okay. They might have, they might have been someone who was so financially dependent and took the money and run, ran and that kind of thing. But I feel there's a bit of manipulation going on here with the magician, slightly. You know, like there's, there's, the magician isn't generally bad, but um, they do have some tricks up their sleeve. I will say that. They're, you know, they're going to pull a rabbit out of the hat and try to deceive you a little bit um, with this, oh, I really miss you, I really love you. And I, yeah, you know, it's not the greatest message and I'm sorry, you know, but I feel like it's the truthful message that I'm, I'm getting here. Okay, so the outcome is, and then ghosting. So Aquarius, the message here is, and it's straightforward. And I know Aquarians, I know you guys, I know you're like, yo, don't play, give it to me straight because Aquarius can handle it. You know, I know you can. Um, you're not that type of person who's just going to be all up in, you know, the clouds. You're very intuitive, but you're also very real. 
and I, I I don't know if this is a warning for you, but I, I feel like when you get a call from this past person who did you wrong, and if you don't get yourself up in this place, some might, where, oh, they're coming in with good intentions, they tell me miss me, blah, blah, because it's going to come out where I feel like this person is going to be like, yo, can you sign, by the way, can you sign this document so that you won't do something, or, you know, like, that kind of thing, or say you won't, you know, take me for my money, or, you know, can you give me all the, like, the money that I, like, there, it's a little bit of smoozing kind of thing, schmoozing kind of energy, do you know what I mean? I'm trying to get you to, to, um, get back in their good graces in some way so that they could get something from you and then the ghost okay if you say no or if you say yes to it okay look at that you have integrity does this situation align with your values and morals that's the question because uh, i don't feel like this person comes in with integrity i feel like they're coming in with an agenda have an agenda maybe you helped them in the past with some financial stuff and then they took off and then you're like what the hell happened like what was that you know trying to get to some truth and here they show up again right you have intuition you already know the answer you seek so deep down Aquarius I feel like you know that this person they might be very opportunistic, very opportunistic, not just with you, but with others. And it's really important that you protect yourself by not investing, which is your advice with this, the uh, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give in too soon. Wait it out. Okay. So let's get, let's see, I want to get your charm. This, this reading's going really fast. Well, wait, I want to just get a couple extra messages for you before I give you your charms. Let's take a look here. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, you need to get more sleep, Aquarius. And you also have the Eight of Cups, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, change in priorities, and perhaps even leaving home. And then you have the Three of Swords, of course, great sadness that will heal with time, let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, being there for those in need, but those who have good intentions towards you, right? Now, listen, you do what you want, right? If you want to give this person what they're asking for, that's entirely up to you. But just make sure that you keep in mind that the way this reading and the messages I'm getting is that this person's intentions are more to take than to give. So if you don't expect anything in return, not even a payback, you know, and you still want to do it, that's up to you. So I'm just giving you the message here. Be super, super careful. The Knight of Swords. Decisive, focus, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Let's see what we have here for you. Wow, you're kidding. You have two hearts. Wow, you have two hearts. Okay, you got a red heart with a keyhole. There's no key. There's no key. And a blue heart. And that feels to me like an ice cold heart. So that's you, Aquarius, keeping your um, heart locked up. Throw away the key. Not letting this person in. Um, because they're they're hollow and they're and they're hollow and they and they feel cold to me like ice. Like ice cold person's energy i just want to get one more oh yep there you go now you got a blue circle wow there's something here to do with um an eclipse the eclipse somebody saw the eclipse during the day 
I'm hearing. This is something significant to do. Remember the eclipse that was just recently? That big, big eclipse a couple months ago, whenever it was. Very significant time period. And they're saying, remember, remember that day. Remember that time around the eclipse. Really important to remember that. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave that message there for you. I hope that gives you some insight. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And uh, I will see you back you here in a couple of weeks. All right, take one. care. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pain.